Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Tasha Kelly. Most happy to be joining you guys for another week of NFL Pick'em. Week 11 is here. Joined by my co hosts, as always, Spencer Molkatine and Johnny Hardell. Boys, how are we feeling? The football season, we got eight weeks left of NFL Great. football before the playoffs, of course. But crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Insane. Week 11. Spencer, Sad. you. This is kind of a historic week. You didn't finish last in Pick'em. Mm. I know. Right in front of Johnny. Nah. <laughs> you gained a game on him, so you're only. I think if I, if the record is correct, you're only like a, like a game back of him, maybe two. You guys are all way behind me, but it's okay. It's to yeah, be uh, dude. You and your fucking little dick. <laughs> with, a, with a bet like that Browns bet, I don't know about that. I'm hung like a horse with that Browns pick, huh? That was a good bet. That was a good bet. That was a good pick. Yeah. Can't yeah. complain. Gotta... Can't take that away from you. A little Jordan shrug. Um, all right, guys. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. Week 11. All right, Steel- six right. and three Steelers at the six and three Cleveland Browns. The AFC North matchups this week, fantastic. Great game. Right. So. The Ravens Bengals game should be fun. This will be a slugfest. This yeah. will be an ugly right. battle. You know, it's going to be a low scoring game. Under's probably a good play here. Um, I'm Damn. going, I'll, I'll take it easy. I'll go Browns early. I think Pittsburgh has been coasting off of easy schedule. They haven't played anybody. I, this guy, John, went away again. Uh, I, uh, I know the Steelers have been off, we've been making a lot of money off Pittsburgh. I know it, but it's got to stop at some point. They can't keep getting away with this, Spencer. They can't keep getting away with this. You're going Steelers here, John? 100%. Yeah, that's what. (laughs) No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Come on! No, I can't. Yes, you can. So, what are you going? Are you going Steelers or Browns? Team Browns. Oh, so you're switching it now. I have to. Okay. Why? Give me your reason. You're on, you're on, you're an analyst here, John. What's your reasoning? Because the Steelers are so bad, bro. I can't. That's fair. I'll take it. <laughs> They're the worst six and three team I've ever seen. They are. I think that's undisputed. They're, they are it's the worst six and three. It's a Steelers thing to do. Remember, they were fucking ten and zero, but they were the worst yeah, they 10-0 were, team I've ever seen in my eyeballs. Yeah. It yeah, was like they, they were. <laughs> dude, they literally had like a flight attendant push out Big Ben in a fucking wheelchair, <laughs> and the dude went ten and zero. And, like, people were like, what the hell is going on right now? Yeah, well, well, and then they, like, can... rattled off nine straight losses, including a first-round ba- like first round bounce. Like, it was terrible. The NFL, it's so funny because they're like, hey, we, this, the, we cannot allow the city of Pittsburgh to riot. Like, we need them to be at peace. Otherwise, they'll destroy all of the country. So, yeah. we need them to be happy. So, give them a 10-win season. Bam, 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 bam. Every year, 10 wins, 10 wins, 10 wins, 10 wins. That way, we keep the city of Pittsburgh at peace. Because if the terrible towels were to get angry and have a losing season, it would be the end of civilization. <laughs> I agree. Because that's the only thing that makes sense to me as to how they're cons- like they're not good football teams, but they just consistently have weak schedules and they win games. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Cupcake soft. All right, three and six Tennessee Titans at the six and three Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville laid out a stinker. Against the 49ers, very bad, Spence, very ugly. Spence, Spence, I we said over. it was a terrible matchup, Tasso. It Spence, was. It I was. came over. I came over. I told Jim Bell, bro. I told Jim Bell. I'm like, I'm like, the Niners will not lose this game. <laughs> I'm like, the Niners will not lose this game, bro. Brock Purdy. No, they didn't just beat. Them. They 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 opened a can of whoop ass on the Jaguars. Yeah, it was a horrible Brock matchup. Purdy. The Jaguars' offensive line is bad. It's a problem. Yeah, Thanos himself. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's fucking Thanos, bro. He needs all five Infinity Stones. He didn't have Debo for a couple weeks, and he fucking didn't know how to act. He got Debo again, and all of a sudden he went like this, and he snapped his fingers, and bang. Absolute murder fest. It is, funny that all, like, it is funny that he got his weapons back, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, Brock Purdy's good again. Like, And not even like it's like, oh, he's kind of no, – like he looked like an MVP again. Like, I swear to God. Over the, yeah, was I making crazy God, throws. All, and, if one of them is not on the field, dude, he's just not a good football player. Yeah. yeah. You're, that's a pretty good, pretty good comparison. He he needs the Infinity Gauntlet, otherwise he's just useless. <laughs> right, he's useless. That's, the other yeah, eleven uh, men on the other side of the ball are the Avengers, and he just gets his ass kicked. I mean, how how, how worried are we about this Jaguars team? Because I I think their offensive line is like I'm it's not, not just I'm not, I mean it's like it might be the worst in the league. I'm not worried at all, actually. 
I'm, I'm not worried at all. Even though their, offense hasn't not been, like, their offense hasn't looked good this year, to I be mean, honest. This 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 Niners team has looked bad, but they're still they're really they're not. Tassos, they're, I need to give you nuts. a stat. Okay, okay. go ahead. Because you were going at me saying that you would take T Law over Tua. Oh God. You, okay. You said that. Can I tell you something? You said that. I can't wait for the Dolphins segment. I can't wait for the Dolphins segment. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. Justin Fields has more passing touchdowns this year than Trevor Lawrence. I know. Oh. He's, what he's got nine, and he hasn't played in a fucking month. Nine games. Yeah. Yeah. Don't remind me. I fucking traded for him in fucking fantasy. Yeah, I know. His numbers. Trevor Lawrence's numbers are down, but you know what? He also has no offensive line, and his number one wide receiver. Is a degenerate gambler who just disappears every oh, every week. So we're defending Justin Fields out here. Okay, all right. What, what are you talking um, about? No, he's trying to defend T. Law right now. Can you pay attention? We're talking about Trevor Lawrence. It's not yeah. like they didn't pay these guys, Tasso. They went out and paid these men. They went out <sighs> and paid Christian Kirk. They went out and paid Calvin Ridley. They went out okay, and paid like, Evan Ingram. But like, but like Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, and Calvin Ridley isn't exactly. Go, to go back to your the Infinity Gauntlet, they Not drafted him. Exactly. Etn, no, it's fucking Walmart. It's like it's like the plush toy Infinity Gauntlet. I get it, but like, dude, come on! It's not like they didn't choose these guys. You're like, you, this is you and your LeBron argument when he goes out and chooses all these guys. Like they went out and chose these men. They went out and paid these guys. By the way, pretty good LeBron argument to be honest. I I stand oh, by God, that. But, stop it. No, it's. I mean, I listen. I, I can't. I can't blame. It just. I don't know. Their offense is broken. I think he is a lot better than his numbers show. I just think that their offense in general has been a mess this year. I, my point is still standing. I would take Trevor Lawrence over. If you put Trevor Lawrence in the Dolphins' offense, whoo, whoo, it wouldn't MVP. be the same okay. offense. It'd be better. Yeah. It would be a better offense. I think two is better. On what I do. But I think they're in the same category. I think they're in the same tier. I so think is... tier below. I think he's in no. just no. one tier below. No. Down. I think they're in the same tier. I think I better. think Trevor Lawrence is on the same tier as Burrow, Hertz, Herbert, Allen. Like I think Mahomes is on a class of his own. I think it's Mahomes is in his own tier, and then I think the the next tier is Burrow, Allen, Hertz, Herbert, Lawrence, and then it goes Lamar Jackson, Tua, Aaron Rodgers. You know, and and I don't know. I guess you could throw Dak in there if you really wanted to, or C.J. Stroud. But like that's how my tiers would go. Like I just I I think Tua is just and he's close like he's about to elevate himself into that next group. I just don't I think he's just slightly below. Like, I think he's the eighth, I just seventh I or just don't know what league. Trevor Lawrence has fucking done in order to be he's won a playoff game. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. But like other than that what has he done? Nothing. It's it's more the eye test for me when I watch him. Like he I, I see a great quarterback there. Statistically it's not there. He just Listen, his offense just isn't there right now. He doesn't have a good offensive line. His he's weapons are not letting offense hasn't been there for three years. He's on my he had a pretty bro. good year last. First, his rookie year was really bad. His rookie year was, and that, again, that comes down to bad offense. They had no receivers. His top receiver, I don't even know who their top receiver was that his rookie year. If we're, if we're talking about Zay Jones, two it, two it, two is better by far. I uh, I don't know about that. No, I, I do think they're in the same tier. Okay, we're let's move on. So who are, we're going to Jaguar sweep because they're playing the yes, Titans. That, I mean, this, this is not, this, the, yeah. point, the point of that conversation was the fact that we shouldn't even talk about this football game. Yeah. Yeah. We were busy debating quarterback tiers. But we'll talk more about the Dolphins after. Um, we got the four and five Chargers at the three and six Green Bay Packers. Uh, another game that I'm not going to spend Easy. a whole lot of time on. I, uh, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty clear cut that this is a uh, this is going to be a Chargers win. Personally, I think. Yeah, I do like the that Packers. Are, are the if the are the Packers taking I like that two too. questions? Are the Packers taking and if they are the second part for this question, are they taking for a quarterback? Yes, and maybe. I think they're giving up. I, I think at this point they know that they're they're cooked. Even though the NFC is kind of open, and they could even at three and six, they turn around, they could sneak in. I think they're giving up, and I think. They're gunning for a quarterback. I don't think they're sticking to Jordan I, I, Love. I think they're tanking. I don't know if the team's tanking for a quarterback, but they should be. I don't think Jordan I think Love they're is. gunning for a top 10 pick. I don't know if it's for a quarterback. I mean, I wouldn't hate if they took um, 
like a receiver or a tackle, like something to help Jordan Love out if that's the goal, the way they're going with it. But I'll be honest, I've he, watched him he as, some a, as, as a Packers week. owner. As a Packers owner, I put my vote in. God. I want him gone. I want him gone. He he showed some some promising things. He can't help that his fucking receivers drop everything that's thrown at them either. Yeah, fair. I mean, I mean the the Packers have some decent receivers, but really. Not really. They're, they're un, a little unproven. Like it's they have, unproven they have. Okay, they're first round draft picks, second round draft picks, but they're they're always their second, third tier receivers going into the draft. Like they haven't, they they don't get, they haven't got that showstopper yet. There's mm-hmm. some, there's some good ass receivers in this draft coming up, though. Let me tell you. Yeah. There's some Marvin Harrison. Hell yeah. I but you, even beyond you guys him, coming out of LSU. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I just, I don't know. The more and more I watch him, the more and more I'm like, for someone who's been groomed for this for about three years, like he's been, if this was his rookie year, he just came out of the draft, I'd be like, all right, give him time. But like the fact that he's been, they've been preparing him for this for so long. And sometimes his, his like, it's like, he doesn't know the offense sometimes. Like it's, it's sometimes it's not, ju- and I don't know. I just, I, from what I've seen, I'm not impressed. And honestly, I just think for someone who's been waiting for this moment for three years, and this is your entrance. Like they haven't had a tough schedule either. Like their schedule has not been like crazy difficult. I mean, right. He is not good. No, he He's looked not great. He looked decent. I can't. I can't lie. He looked decent against the Steelers. And to, and all right. So transitioning off of Green Bay, the Chargers are not. They're not bulletproof here. I'm not. They're they're getting their 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 due desserts. Okay. They're not a good. I don't think the Chargers are a good football team. I'll be honest. And 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 they should be. And that's what's frustrating with them is they have the pieces to be a good football team. I disagree. Brandon Staley needs to go. Play That's the thing. Does. I think he's a, a good defensive team. coach, he's a and they're giving up forty points to, to the Lions. And the Lions are a good offense, but like for they're a defensive guy, their defense sucks. Dude, you just knew when the Lions were getting the football, they were going down and scoring. Yeah, you yeah. just knew it was over. You see, I I, I agree. And they have history. pieces. Like their defense I has think, guys who can play. I think the Chargers are a good team. They're a good team. Staley's gonna go. Staley's the problem. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like they have, they they should be a lot better than four and five. Yeah, and and I and you, they've been in so many one score games that you know it. You can see it when watching them. Like there is a good team here. They're just not being managed correctly. And my fear is is that the Chargers will win enough games to make the playoffs. And then you know, will they make the smart choice of firing Staley if they make the playoffs again? No, no. I, I don't know. I hope that I, I my hope is that this, the Chargers are smartening up and knowing that Staley's a problem. But it is, think, it, I'm not even a Chargers fan. It's frustrating. See, if they miss I the do. playoffs, I'm sorry. Go down. No, if they if they miss the playoffs, they'll fire Staley. But if not, if they make the playoffs, he's in another year at least. Uh, I mean, he's my first for Chargers. Can I butt in? Can I butt in? Yeah. yeah. I hate the AFC West. I hate him. But like, well, you're a Raiders fan. No shit. Yeah, but like the Chargers it's, it's should be like me so saying much... I, I hate the Jets. I hate them. I hate Shut the Bills up. and the Dolphins. The Chargers should be so much better than they are. I mean that yeah, team is agreed. so good. They should be really I mean, good. I, I, I on paper that team is so good, bro. Like yeah, they've got they've got names. Staley is killing them. Yeah, absolutely. I just don't so know going... who they bring in. Bill Belichick. Oh God. Billy, Billy B. Who's the Patriots, give... uh, who's the Patriots coach? McDaniels? <laughs> no, Gerard Mayo. Probably. I don't think they promote Kellen Moore. I don't think so either, because honestly, they should. their offense they should. an impressive art. No, yeah, but they I don't should. Think, he, hasn't, he hasn't impressed me this year. No. I, I, they like, need a defensive, all, I don't know flat. what they fucking need. I, like I think Kellen they Moore. need a... Uh, I do think they need an offensive-minded coach. Yeah. And I do think they need to bring in a veteran guy on the defensive side for the DC. Yeah, yep. it's it's just the way to go. But it's been the guy? way to go for ben forty Johnson. years. Who's that guy though? Ben Johnson. Ooh, I like that. Who? Ooh, I like that. The Lions offensive coordinator. You said Ben Johnson. Yeah. 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 He's don't a, don't let that option. happen. Yeah. Don't let that happen. Because uh, honestly. I like no, no, Raiders. Yeah. No, I don't think they bring in a young guy though, Tassos. Like that's my that's my I thing. Either. I don't think this team needs a young coach. I think they need an older, like more established guy that's gonna let Kellen Moore keep the offense. But he's gonna... No, no, that's the last thing this team needs. 
That that I train know, wreck. Uh, I don't know who it is. I don't well, who. No, I said the that, enemy. That's the last thing they need is to bring is to take a, a swing on Harbaugh, which I like Harbaugh, and I think I actually think he's going to the Raiders. But I don't say I don't that, think bro. that. The, don't say I don't that. think that's a that's a good fit for the Chargers. I don't know. Don't I, I think the Chargers need an offensive guy. They need somebody who can help Herbert unlock his his the true enemy? potential. Right. No, but no, you keep no, Kellen no, Moore. No, that's no. the thing. You keep Kellen Moore, but you bring in another offensive guy, and you you really vamp up that offense where Dude, it does put up thirty plus points a week. If Antonio Pierce wins one more game, they're not looking for a head coach. All anymore. right, get get out of here with Antonio. What, what what veteran offensive guy though would they hire? Like, I don't who, know. Who, that's the thing. I don't really know if they're the honestly the trend right now is you hire unless it's Andy Reid, you hire these younger offensive coaches like a Mike McDaniel's. I mean, like a Matt Lafleur, like no, I get all that. these other guys. You're, you're gonna rip from the Chiefs, though. I mean, you're gonna rip from the Chiefs. This is what that's what's gonna happen. What do you mean? You're gonna take the fucking corners from the Chiefs. It, Why? Honestly, you know what would be? A, I don't want to say it, Tassos, because I don't want to come off as a douchebag. But I do like a Frank Smith hire. Yeah, douchebag. That's not bad. That's a good. That's, that's not horrible. He's, I like that. He knows the Shanahan offense. He would come over from the Dolphins. He would honestly, he'd probably make that Kellen Moore offense even better. He wouldn't want to take over that offense because he doesn't even really run the offense right now, but he knows it. And apparently, he's a really good players coach. It's like, like he'd let Kellen Moore keep the reins of the offense, but he's just going to be there to like vamp it in. And then they bring in a veteran DC, and that's just how it is. Oh, like, I, I think that would be a I better. Like a lot. I think bringing in Ben Johnson and just having Kellen Moore and Ben Johnson on the same coaching staff, where they they don't like who runs the goddamn offense. Like, it'd I be mean, like, I, to be fair, I think if Ben Johnson were brought on, I don't think Kellen Moore stays. I think they fire Kellen right. Moore. But I don't think they move on from Kellen Moore. That's a problem. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting. But we got a Charger sweep here, right? Yeah. 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 I thought so. Um, moving on. This game kind of smelly. Alert. Uh, we got Giants Commanders. Both these commanders. teams, I don't think, want to win that badly, but I'm going to go commanders. commanders here. Commanders. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Uh, as commanders. Long, as long as the Giants have Tommy DeVito in that quarterback, I just can't. I, I can't mean, take him seriously. That in the commanders look good lately. Uh, they, they've looked good lately. Uh, I don't want to say good. They looked okay. Okay. Like, let, let me rephrase. They look like, uh, they looked, they've looked like a football team. Uh, okay. Sure. I mean, they wear pads. They wear a helmet. They <laughs> go on the field and they play a football game. So yes, they, they play football, football team. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, like they, they, they you know, they, they play, play Seattle okay. tough. I mean, off- offensively they're not horrible. You know, they can score offensively. I think defensively they're a mess. I mean, they they should beat Seattle. I think so. I mean, they were in there. They were in that game late. Just and that's what, but that's what happens when you trade your two of your best pass rushers. Yeah. Your defense right. all of a sudden now their defense wasn't that great to begin with. <laughs> And you got rid of the two best players on that, two of the best players on that defense. So that's what happens. And now you're going up against yeah. a giant team that just has no fight left in them. Like, what do they have? Yeah. No Darren Waller, no Daniel Jones, no offensive line. There's a bunch of Italians you, back in Tommy DeVito. Do you think this is a weird cover situation for the Giants? Mm, it's hard because uh, what? It, it's a division it's nine and a half. Game. Ten, no, I, I, ten on my, I, I, I completely see where you come from. But like, oh no, I think God. I think Commanders cover. I think so too. I think Commanders cover. I, mean, I just don't. The, the, I just don't. The Giants defensively, they're not good enough to get stops. Offensively, they they can't, they can't throw move the football, football at all. Yeah, I mean, and it's like Saquon players. already got dinged up in the Cowboy game. So, Dude, what do you have I mean, at that point? Normally, Nothing. normally I'd agree. With then you that's 100%. why that's the weird cover. Dude, I'd agree. I'd agree hundred percent. But lately, they've been lifeless. Like lifeless. <sighs> <sighs> Who? Yeah, the Giants. No, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they don't. I don't saying. know what they have going for them. Like normally, the visual game. Where is in all this? To be fair Biden. to him. To be fair to him. Like, what are you? What is he supposed to do? Nothing. When like his, his offensive line, ass. Like, it's ass. It's very bad. Dude, the but fact that they made the, the playoffs last year is insane. They're bad. It was a bad team last year. Yeah, they they were they were kind of like the Steelers of this year, like where it's like they they shouldn't have been they shouldn't have won a lot of games, but they did partly because of schedule, partly because of luck. They're lucky. And I think They're lucky. They also just didn't make any improvement. Like in the off season, their big thing, like everyone said it, like okay, there's something here. They need receivers. They need help. And their big thing was like, let's go get Darren Waller, who for the last three years has been banged up. And what happened? <laughs> oh no, he got banged oh, up he's again. Hurt. 
Oh shit! No shit, and, and buddy. It's like you did. The- you did the same. It's like that was your big move. Like that's how you answer a playoff appearance. Is okay. Like, yeah. Granted, now, the Giants granted, should have elevated themselves to a next la- next level. And I they get failed it, but... because they decided we're gonna go get Waller and we're gonna draft Jalen Hyatt from Tennessee. And boom, you got an offense. I mean, granted, like, if no. they would have got healthy Waller, it would a great signing. I mean, great. Yeah, but that's not like that. We could do that for every. You know what I mean? Like, well, what if the Niners have had a had a healthy Kittle the last five years? Like, no, I get that. You can't what say if Dolphins that. signed a healthy Dante Culpepper back in '06? <laughs> yeah, like Darren Waller like, hasn't been healthy since what 2020? Right, 19. Like he's been hurt the last three years, and it's like yeah. they get him, he gets hurt, and oh no, what happened? Well, you got a guy who constantly gets hurt, and he was yeah. the big addition to your offense. That was yeah. a red flag from the beginning. The fact that, like, hey, the guy who's going to change your offense maybe will play eight games. Maybe, if I you're mean, lucky. That, that's the reason when they traded him, when the Raiders traded him, I wasn't mad about it at all because I, I, I knew. No, you I shouldn't knew. be. He, he, he was, he's, he's older. He's, he's, he's an injury risk. Like I said, you can't you cannot be a playoff team when Wandale Robinson is your wide receiver one. You cannot be a top day, team when Wandale Robinson. Player. Huh? He's more he, he's more concerned of what Kelsey Plum's doing than playing yeah. football. Oh. Kelsey Plum got my heart. Oh, Las hey. Vegas Ace, huh? Yeah. Oh. Things I would do for Kelsey Plum. Um. All right, moving along here. So we got a commander sweep. This game, this is what I've been wanting to talk about. I feel like we're going to spend a little bit of time here. So, we'll... Raiders, Dolphins. Can I start? Mm-hmm. Can I start real quick and then you can go on your little spiel? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. All right, Dolphins. I'm taking the Dolphins. I'm going Dolphins minus 11 and a half cash money bet. Should I just piggyback on that and say this is this game shouldn't be close? Dolphins minus 10 and a half cash money bet again. I had it at yeah. 10 and a half. If it's moved to 11 and a half. So can I uh, okay, we'll can I have a double piggyback and say the Raiders can get absolutely fucking spanked in this game? <laughs> I actually don't want you to do that because I know what you're doing. You're just doing it because you want no, the Raiders right, to win and you're using right. your no, dude, powers. No, hand up, hand up, hand up. The Raiders will get fucking smacked in this game. They should because it's I, not I've a been good a fan, game. dude. I've been a fan long enough to know what team, know what games they'll get fucking smacked in, and this is one of them. Listen. Well, first of all, stop because you said that last week about the Jets, and you were wrong. And you said it the week before, and you were wrong. No, so I don't no, want to. No, no, I was not. I said I, I respect what you're doing. You're doing no, it because no, no, he, did, he did. He was on the verge of picking the Raiders last week, but he did go Jets. I said. But I, I know said what you're this doing, game. And I respect. No, I respect no, 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 no. I respect no, no, no. it. Listen, listen. I said. I said the Raiders should win, but I can see how they lose. Like they should lose. But this game, 100%, they, they have nothing to deal with this Dolphins team. Nothing at all. I just don't think Aiden O'Connell can put up enough points to they, cover they, 10 and to, a half. To beat the Dolphins, they had to put up 28, and they won't. They'll put up 17. I just, this Raiders team is not good. I'm just talking. They're like, not. They are, the, they are the Steelers. They are the Steelers. They're, this, what, the They're, NFL, no, honestly, no, no, this no, year no, no. So They're worse than the Steelers. They are. The the NFL has been so frustrating because I've seen so many bad teams win so many games because of how bad. The NFL is not good this year. I'll be honest. There's like three teams that are really good, and even them are brutally flawed. There's no like – like the Eagles are the best team right now in the NFL, and they have legit flaws on defense and offense. Yeah. Like there's no yeah. surefire teams this year, which is a good and a bad thing because it's wide open. I think it's a great win. But like the competition, they're all – like all the teams are mid. I'm just tired I mean, of this Raiders team and all the storylines and oh no, wow, I get are it. they I all get mid it. or are they all good? No, they're all mid. I like it being all mid. I wish they were all good, but I'd rather have it be all mid than no. Uh, mm, no, I, I'm not, I, I'm not I, even I get saying. It. I, I just want a few more teams to be better. Like I want the Chiefs to be the Chiefs, like and have an offense that's high powered. I want the Niners to not have the Brock Purdy thing going on, like. I want there to be some good teams, and then the lower tiers, like like the Cowboys are fine where they are. Like I like that. What they're doing, that's the Cowboy. The Cowboys are doing what they're supposed to do. They win games that they that they should, and they lose games that they should. Like they're doing what they're supposed to do. But like there's there's like six or seven teams that are actually good, and the rest are dog shit. Like actual dog shit. There's like I mean, and it's and it's bad. Like the fact that the Raiders are five and five right now is crazy. And John, your Stop take, it. your take on, on Aiden O'Connell yet this morning. I actually wanted to punch my hand through a wall for the second time. This Can is I ridiculous. Hop in? Can I hop in unbiased? You know Connell is not good. Listen, He's not I good. In? Can I hop in? Stop Can I hop making in? it happen. Can He's I hop in unbiased? Good. Let me talk. Yeah? Dude. 
The Raiders have no business being five and five. Zero. They suck. They're awful. Bro, O'Connell, he's a career backup. I know that. Like, but it God is it fun. It is so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like they 16 have no for bit- 27, 153 yards, a touchdown and a pick. That's fun. It's better That's than Jimmy. Shit. It's better than Jimmy. He's pointing up Josh Rosen numbers. Yeah. He's better than Jimmy. I just don't. I'm tired of the constant texts and the messages and the posts about O'Connell and the Raiders and the cigars. Dude, it's oh, so much fun. They're smoking cigars. They 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 beat the Jets, the shitty Jets by four on, okay. on a horrible right. Friday night football okay. game. Let, let, let me stop you. Let, let me stop you. Let me stop you right there. Let, let me stop you right there. Okay, O'Connell's not good. I know that, right? He, he's a career backup, but he handled that defense. He handled that defense pretty well. Sixteen for twenty-seven. 153 yards. He's a fourth round rookie. But stop saying he handled it. He didn't handle shit. He hit, he, he won the game. Josh Jacobs had 116 yards and 27 carries, John. <laughs> right, he did. No. John, oh. can, we be, can we be completely honest here? Yeah. Your fucking run defense won you that football game. Which is crazy because it shouldn't have. They suck. Yes. It's been good this year, though. It, didn't Brees Hall have like 16 carries for 23 no, which, yards or something? It, yeah, it's been point. good for the last few weeks. Like, their run defense to start the year has been tragic. John, move it's, your it's fucking been camera over. Great the last four or five weeks. Move your... Aren't you on a laptop? Just move the laptop. No, I'm not a laptop. I'm on a fucking PC. Move the monitor over. Dude, I have two monitors. Which one do you want me to move? That one. Oh, that's my camera. Hang on. Thank you. Anyways, we're spending a lot of time on this game. The moral of the story is the Dolphins should rinse this team. They should. Agreed? They should. They should. I just, if, like, honestly, if the Dolphins score 24 points, I think they cover. Agreed. Yeah. No, I agree. I, don't... And I also, I don't want to get Spencer going, because I already got John going. I want to get Spencer going. But, like, this is what the Dolphins do. This is a game they're going to win. Like, this right. is. No, they do the get shit out of bad they're... teams. That's just yeah, what they like, do. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Shred. got to keep that scoring average up. They're going to drop probably 35 really? points. I'll, I'll tell you, Shred. Like, Dude, I'll tell you, Shred. Yeah, but... Like, as a Raiders fan, straight up, this team wins by 18. So, I'd say the only way you you are concerned about these Dolphins, I think they're great. I, I think they're a deep run playoff contender, Super Bowl contender. I think they're great. Um, if they lose this week, then you worry, but they won't. So, like, I think this team is deep December, like, consideration worthy. They're they're great. I I don't. Well, think the NFL the NFL good. regular season goes till January, John. So here, no, this is it will okay, be alive in will, December. That is confirmed. This, you know what this I mean. is. This is the how shit hits the fan, right? You get concerned with the Dolphins. I'm gonna go off on. 30 second Dolphins spiel. Concerned yeah. with the Dolphins, if one, they get blown out by the Cowboys on Christmas Eve, then you okay. get concerned. And two, they get blown out by the Bills. Or I think they, if they win both those games, all of a sudden the Dolphins are, again, fighting with the Chiefs as the best team in the AFC. If they, because I think the rest of their schedule is fucking dog water. Yeah. It's literally a walk. You get to play the Jets twice. Yeah. Um, I don't know who else is on the schedule. You get the oh, Raiders the this week. I have it right here. I can tell you the next time the Dolphins are going to lose, and it's going to come on December 24th against the Cowboys. They're going to they're go on a little five-game winning streak here because they you got see, the Raiders, Jets, Commanders, so. Titans, I don't Jets. think so. I don't trust the Cowboys that late. But the, here's the thing. What is Tua – and, I, and like Spencer's going <laughs> to argue, but like, what does he struggle with his pressure? What are the Cowboys – what are they best at bringing pressure? I think they're going to throw Tua off his game. I think – their last three games are where I'm going to – that's – like, I can't – anything the Miami Dolphins do, and I know – What did I, I just say, so. though? I don't think what so. What did I just say? I said they literally judge them completely off on how they play the Cowboys and how they play the Bills. Oh, no, yeah. That is that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get to is, like, that's – I whatever they do the next five weeks, I'm not – I can't base it because it's, like, what am I going to no, get off of them beating these teams? But, like, that <laughs> last three-game stretch, you've got Dallas, Baltimore, and Buffalo to finish the season. That three-game yeah. stretch is where we really evaluate Miami. Is that are the, is this a team that can maybe go to the Super Bowl, or is this like an early round exit playoff team? That's where it's going to be determined. I, think I don't think they're an be- early round. Here's the thing, Tassos. They're not an early round exit. I think they can win a playoff game this year because they're going to get like the Steelers or like they're going to get the two seed. 
Right. They're going to get the, I think they're going to, I think they're going to be a 12 win team. I think they pick up one win at the bare minimum against those last three games. I would be shocked if they lose. Yeah. I would be shocked if they lose one of these next five, because it's just what they do. They just blow the doors off of bad teams. And then it's, if they win one game of the last three, they're the two seed and they get to play the, they get to play the Steelers. I meant home. more. I meant more when I said earlier. I meant like AFC divisional round. Like I think they're going to win a playoff. They'll make it past the first round. And my thing is like right. once they play a Cincinnati or a Baltimore yeah. or that's no, when I don't I, know. If, if I will be in your, I'll be completely in your corner if they don't beat the the uh, Ravens or the. If they take one, if they take the Cowboys and the Bills or the Ravens and the Bills, they'll be changes. like you know like Na- narrative like changes. Narrative change. Um. All right, moving along here, we got Cardinals and Texans. Um, again, actually, actually, I was gonna say on. this is a quick one. This isn't. I think Texas win. No, but hang the on, Cardinals back. with Kyler, they're no longer like, oh, it's the Cardinals. We can move on. Like <laughs> Kyler he, makes things interesting. No one Tasso, give me the Cardinals here. I really? like the Cardinals Tassos. I'm going Texans. I I think Houston's legit. Like they're well, hold on. They're not a legit contender, but like they're a legit team. Like they're actually a good. No, they team. they're. They they will beat your doors down if you don't no, come I get that. for them. I get that, but I think this Texans team does know how to handle Kyler. Um, I, I mean, this, I, they beat the Ravens, so. Right. No, I do. The thing is, is I do like this Cardinals offense when Kyler is playing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they it's still different. Got weapons. Their, their team that was night and day different watching. I mean, there was the Falcons, but like they are a much better team with Kyler on the field. But you got to realize that Kyler Murray is that was the first time he stepped on a football turf since he played well. Like, sure. like since, he played like, well. The Kennedy no. administration. He Can I ask well. a so, question like, though? Like, I I know nobody in the NFL wants to necessarily tank, but like, why are the Cardinals doing this? Exactly. Like, what was the like? Because I think you had a pretty that, good excuse that, to if you if you wanted to if you wanted to shut Kyler down for the year, be like, hey, we want to make sure the knee is one hundred percent repaired. Shut him down for the season. Like, I just don't – they're not a good team. So, like, even if, Kyler, they, they rock off some wins. Hold on, Tasso, stop real quick. Stop real yeah. quick. John, you can mute until you got to talk, buddy. There's a mute button. Oh, true. Hang on. There you go. So, just mute until you got to talk. All right. <laughs> All right. Start, start on – just start where you said, like, why are the Cardinals taken? Yeah. I just don't – I just don't understand why the Cardinals are – doing this exactly like i just don't uh like there's no like there you're one you're two and eight now like even if you go on a little run with kyler i think the playoffs are out of the question i mean i guess it's building toward next year but like it would have been so easy for the cardinals just be like yeah we're gonna set kyler for the year and now Stop you have it. a top three pick guaranteed my Stop thing it. is is i think they looked at their draft board and they realized that they don't need they don't need a top five pick. Maybe they they're looking at somebody that's in the five to ten spot, and they're completely okay with winning six games this year. If that if that makes any sense, well, like, Kyler, I guess so. Kyler's pull- Hang on, Cowers playing for this new uh, this new regime. Like he's playing to be the quarterback of the Cardinals for this new regime. So I think he's been playing his ass off. For to be team. fair. I feel like I've, I feel bad because I feel like I've been disputing all of Johnny's points. But to add context, I don't think they really have a choice. Like they just extended him to a big contract. Like I, right. they can't just—they're kind of stuck with him at least for the next couple of years. They did. That's... Jonathan Gannon didn't. But that doesn't matter. Con- contractually, they're yeah, you locked. have a contract, Johnny. We had the same conversation this morning with Danny Jones. Yeah. Like they, you can't just put pen to paper and be like, you know what? We brought in a new head coach. Yeah, we're gonna rip that thing off. Yeah. Well, like they can get, he, they can move off of him, but I think it's like they're going to take on like forty million in dead money, well, and I don't think playing, an NFL team wants to do that. He's still playing for his freaking future as a Cardinal. Oh yes, agreed, agreed. But I don't like, like saying that like oh he's playing for this regime. Like whether they want him or not, he's stuck for at least next year. Right. Um. So coming back to this game, then. So you guys are both going Cardinals here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bold. I'm not buying the Cardinals that much because I do think they have a lot of flaws as a team, but. I just think Houston. I'm loving what Houston's doing. Um, I feel good for. Te- I feel I'm happy for Texas fans that like the bounce back from the whole Deshaun Watson thing has been really good. Like they 
immediately got their guy and you know and will anderson looks great so um i'm going texans here moving along here we have bears lions a little uh nfc north showdown um not gonna justin feels ever gonna play I, I don't know i don't know i'm i'm going lines i would love to know not. my fantasy team would love to know i'm going lines and we can move on lions Lions. Save a little, we can save a little time here with a little Lions sweep Rooney. I just yeah. like regard, even even if he were to play, I, is, is that really a difference maker here? No. no. Well, I don't think so. Uh, I, I think I think it feels plays. I've got pieces. I think if Fields were to play, it wouldn't be a 10, 10 point spread. Oh yeah. no, absolutely not. But I still think the result would be the same. The Lions would win. I'm saying, yeah. yeah, that's all I'm getting. Uh, at. Moving along, another one we can kind of go through quick: Cowboys Panthers. Easy. Panthers Not a lot of analysis to go. This is down. where the Cowboys. This is what the Cowboys do. Exactly like the Dolphins, they blow out bad teams. Yeah, I mean, yep. this is this is going to be. And what's the card spread here? I got an eleven. That's a lock. That's a lock. That's not even a question. Mm-hmm. That's like like you don't mm-hmm. even like look at that point spread and go with a lot of points. You just bet it. Like it's yeah. This this Cowboys team is going to eat. Some guy some guy did lot. comment on our video last week, Tassos, that the Cowboys team total over was a lock, and he was never more right. So whoever commented yeah. that, good job. Pick. He was definitely a Greek guy, Tassos. A Greek no, guy in the comment session. He was not Greek. Um, moving ben along Drachmas. here, Niners. <laughs> Niners, Bucks. Um, Niners. They're back. They're back. Yeah, I think, I think these, these, these last few games. They covered the Niners already. This Bucks team isn't nothing to write home about. Yeah, that that and the Niners are back. I mean, this secondary cannot handle this, this Niners offense. Yeah. Well, and I think the thing with the Niners are it's it's Hang on. almost similar to the Dolphin Cowboy thing where it's like, you know, when when they're playing a bad team and everything's going, it's not even that. I guess the thing with the Niners is if when they're healthy, they're and and like we talked about earlier, when Brock Purdy has his Infinity Gauntlet, they are the best team in the NFL. I think I think they're better than the Eagles. Right. And it, but the minute something goes wrong, if Debo Samuel pulls a hammy and he's out for a, a possession, Brock Purdy. You know the the what's the the carriage turns back into a pumpkin, the Cinderella thing, whatever. I don't I don't, I don't remember what it was. Wasn't it a pumpkin or something that turned into a carriage? I don't know. Whatever yes. it was, that's yes. what happens to Brock wait, Purdy wait, when he loses wait, one piece. Wait, He's talking about up, the pumpkin that turns up, into a carriage. Back up. What's the pumpkin that the car, turns the into Disney a carriage? Cartoon? Yeah, the 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 fairy <laughs> turns the thing, the pumpkin into a carriage, and then at midnight. You know the dress no. goes away, and then no. It, what is I it not a pumpkin? So. Was it a pumpkin that turned into a carrot? It was. Was it, it not? Was. Do you not know what Cinderella is? <laughs> You're laughing, but I don't know why. Are you laughing? Are you laughing at but, the concept, or are you laughing because I'm wrong? Both. Was, was God it damn, really I'm that? Look it, up now. it was definitely yes. it was a pumpkin. I don't think she turned into a pumpkin, bro. <laughs> No, the pumpkin turns into a carriage. Oh, yes, that she rides to the ball it's, in. Tasso. It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin that turns into a carriage. Go <laughs> fuck yourself, John. It was a pumpkin. I don't care. I don't care. That's so funny. I feel <laughs> like I feel like we're in the what's that? What's that TikTok? <laughs> Wicked Witch of the East, bro. Fighting over the Wizard of Oz. Her Wait, sister do, was a witch. Do the <laughs> Her sister was a witch. I feel like that's what we just had right there. It was like fighting over Cinderella, but um, yeah, Niners. I feel bad for Baker. Oh, I talked with, we talked about this last week. I, I feel bad for Baker. Yeah, we He's actually, talk, we talked a about this year, a lot but, last week. Yeah, but Bucks. I just can't. I don't. I don't. There's nothing about this game that I can like. The Niners. As long as they're healthy, I'm gonna keep picking them. Like I don't. You know, Debo's supposed to be here. You know, everyone else is supposed to be here. So I'm going. I'm going Forty Niners. A little bow cameo. I think we should give Bo a mic. He might have some better takes. <laughs> Can we take? And he doesn't even realize that the mic's muted either, so that's also fun. Um, all right. We got Seahawks, Rams. I love Seahawks here, but the thing is, though, Spencer, there's a man. There's a, there's a certain man who might be starting this game for the LA Rams. We didn't get to talk about this last week because it happened after we started recording. Somebody's back. It's got me all hot and bothered. Carson Wentz is back in the NFL. Yeah. And he's, he's probably back. in line to start. 
I uh, don't know. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. I don't. I. I. I I'm leaning Seattle. But this line is so big. This is what uh-huh. I hate about this game, right? You were supposed to look at this line and be like, wow, Seahawks are minus one and a half against a Rams team that doesn't even know who's playing quarterback next week. It's so big. So easy. That's what pisses me off because that's what that like I don't know. It is. It's no, it is. It's bait because we know Matt Stafford's not playing. That's confirmed. It's right. gonna be either it's gonna be either Brett Rippian or it's gonna be Carson Wentz. And the fact that it's a one and a half point line, and I'll be honest, as somebody, and I bet on Seattle a lot this year, and I like the Seahawks a lot. I like their story. I like Pete Carroll. If you watch my other show, H to H with Ev, I've bet on them like every week, and I've had some right. decent success. But you cannot ignore, at right, the last couple of weeks, they have been kind of stinky. No, they, 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 they survived the commanders barely. They got whooped by Baltimore. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't the week before that when they lost to the Bengals. Yes. With all I don't those know goal about lines the Seattle team right now. I don't know. No, about I don't Seattle. either. I thought they were, uh, I thought their defense was a powerhouse. I thought their secondary was the best in the NFL. And then they went out, they let, they let the commanders march the field with like a minute 30 left to score a touchdown to tie the game up. Uh, I don't know, man. This this offense is supposed to be the, one of the best in the NFL with drafting JSN. It's just like a weird dynamic, and now they're a one and a half point favorite to a team that doesn't even know who the playing football. I don't even know who's playing quarterback. Well, it's gonna and be Carson. I'm gonna put my money on Carson. I I'm not Carson Wentz, bro. Carson yeah. Wentz coming coming out of retirement. If you want to call it that. He, wasn't retired. he wasn't retired. He was taking a vacation. Ew. Not a vacation. I, I, just can't, I just can't take. I just. Tassos, you can't take Carson Wentz on his first game back in like a decade. That's nasty. Bro. Yes, you can. Give me Rams on the pick 'em. Oh, God. <laughs> Give Carson me the Seahawks. Nasty. I'm taking the Seahawks. Nasty, Tasso. Give me I'm the Rams. The Seahawks. I'm, not, um, I'm not doing it. Give me the, the Seahawks. Em. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Give me the Seahawks. Bo! Seahawks, huh? You guys are... I don't know, man. I don't know. You think Carson you, Wentz you don't want to ride? You don't want to ride on the Carson Wentz train? No! 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 Well, you should. It's a pretty good ride. All right. No, it's not. I'm going Rams. Like I said, I'm going the Carson <laughs> Wentz factor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Carson <laughs> Wentz factor. All right. We got to finish up here. A couple games left. Uh, Jets, Bills... I'm sorry. As long as Zach Wilson is playing quarterback, I cannot take this Jets team. Bills. I can't. Bills. Oh, and no. I, and again, oh, we, don't, no. we don't know what the Bills are going to look like because we didn't get to watch the Broncos game before recording. But yeah. I just. Although, I, I'm going to take Bills. But if I could throw my two cents in there, this Jets defense is so good. Yeah, it's a wa- it's being wasted. I know. It, it, which yeah. is so sad. I really like Jets plus seven here, though, Tassos. I really yeah. do. Not I do. That. I I don't think this Bills defense is that good at all. It's just we've talked about it many times in this podcast already today. The fact I just think that this run offense is going to get going. They're going to put up fourteen to seventeen points, and I think this defense doesn't give up more than twenty four. Yeah, it's just how it is. Not it's like going to be tight. I like that bet a lot, actually. I do. Not, I I'm like the Jets plus seven. seven. I I that's my second cash money bet is Jets plus seven. Yep, I, and, I like the thought because, like you said, the Bills' defense—they're not. It's not like Zach Wilson's going up against anything crazy. Like this is not a good. No, they're this just isn't, run this the isn't ball nothing insane. Yeah, I just think the Jets' the offense is going to be on the field for a while. I, I think they're going to have three, two to three drives that take like eight minutes. And yep. it's just going to be like it's going to be ground and pound. They got two really good running backs. It's just like it's just and the set thing, up to cover. And the thing with the Bills too is, is that like the Josh Allen hero ball doesn't work against a team like New York. Like the Jets. No, you saw it in week one. Yeah. You can't you can't do the whole hero ball act against the Jets. It's gonna backfire on you. Badly. Right. So these I, corners I think play this... physical. Huh? They take away route runners, they take away yeah. Stefan Diggs. They make they make you be patient and Josh Allen hates being patient. Yeah. He loves So I I'm I'm, I'm gonna go Bills just off the fact that like I just no. can't I just can't confidently pick the Jets. I'm going to go Bills off sanity, but I do think the Jets cover seven. 
Yes, I agree. I like that. I like that a lot, I actually. I agree. <clears throat> um, moving along, two games left. Vikings, Broncos, Sunday Night Football. This, I guess, should have been a more more interesting game had Kirk Cousins been healthy and had Russell Wilson been good. But here we are. This dude's fucking top of his cranium is saying exactly what I want to say. I was just about to start singing for you, Tassos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna Vikings. Go Vikings. It's going to be just, Vikings. I'm going right? Vikings. Just keep writing the Josh Dobbs magic. Give me the fucking Dobbs show, baby. Keep it rolling. Dobbs show, baby. It is really Can electric. You hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You want to apologize for last week? Me? Yeah. What did I say? Why? When you took the Saints and you did, uh, and you doubted the Josh Dobbs magic. Hand up. I apologize. And your whole your whole it. spiel was, yeah, yeah, Josh Dobbs magic, but Derek Parr. I, I didn't respect. I didn't know about your game. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, hold on, real quick though. We didn't get to talk about that game. Jameis was fucking back for a little bit. For he a little was. bit, he was he back a little bit. Yeah, he was. He was fucking launching that bitch downfield into triple coverage. I loved it. <laughs> it was. It was the Jameis Winston experience. Like he, he only came in. What was it? The second half, and he threw two touchdowns, two picks. You got the best of both. He world. looked good too. Jameis he looked good. Jameis. He looked good. I didn't even know what he was doing. Oh, I didn't even know who he was hold going to. I love Jameis. I do, and I love seeing him play. But let's not say he looked. He looked good because he easily could have had no touchdowns and four picks. No, 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 no. This is oh, you want to know what happened. Hundred percent. You, you, I think Jameis literally, like on the sideline, flips a coin, and it's like if it lands on heads, he's gonna go touchdown drive, and if it lands on tails, he's throwing it to the other team. That <laughs> that second touchdown that he threw, I think it was the second one, the one where he like rolled rolled to his left, and then cross body throws to his right. <laughs> A 50-50 ball right into the defender, and somehow the receiver comes down with it. It, it is, and I, I think it was Bill Simmons was saying it, like, on his podcast this morning I was listening to. He's like, it defies everything that a quarterback's been taught their whole life, from Pee Wee through high school, through college to the NFL. You never make that throw. That is a no-no. You don't roll out left. Oh, but Jameis makes that throw, baby. The opposite side of the field into a defender, and Jameis said, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyways. And it works. Jameis makes that throw. Oh, Somehow, and I was thinking Jameis. about this. And I know this. We're a little on the long side. We'll edit. We'll cut some stuff if we have to. But I want to talk about this because it made me think of something. Have we has have we lost the era of like fun quarterbacks? Like I feel like I was thinking about it watching Jameis. It made it gave me an emotional like moment. Honestly, watching Jameis, where I was like, the NFL is not what it used to be. Like I I ended up going. I went through a rabbit hole. Watching this game, like J- Jameis Winston throwing touchdowns, made me go- get emotional. I went, I rolled the clocks back to 2012, 2013 to see what the NFL quarterbacks' whole 32 starters were like. It's not like today. Today there are seven really good quarterbacks, and then the and the drop off is bad. And like 15 through 32 is just a matter of how shit are you. Like it's not like, like uh, like personality wise or talent no, wise. Like, talent wise, just their talent like. Back, like, I was looking at the power rankings of quarterbacks in 2013. Jay Cutler was 21. We don't have a Jay Cutler in this league. You know what I mean? mean? We don't have quarterbacks like that. Like, you had, like, a Jay Cutler and a Sam Bradford. Like, they were bad, don't get me wrong. But they looked good. Like, they, you still were fun. It's like a movie. Like, sometimes you get a movie where, like, it's so bad it's good. That was the end. Like, like, a you teenage, have more- like, rom-com right now? I'm was, just, but like that's and that's my thing though. We lost like, white people, teenage rom cops in 2012, and we lost good quarterback play in 2012. Yeah, Two things that true. died. We haven't had a, we haven't had a good rom com in decade in over a decade. And we haven't good, had good quarterback play. Like when you look, I'm just thinking like I, I keep going back to my quarterback list that I made for Guy Boston Sports, and it's like when I go through 20 to 32, it is not. It's not just they're bad; they're unwatchable. Like I, there's you, there's no fun to be had. They're so no. bad that it's unwatchable. But back then, <laughs> no the worst quarterbacks had. were still fun to watch. Like, you still got – like, even, like, you know, we, we just don't – like, what Kirk Cousins is, there used to be, like, seven Kirk Cousinses where it's, like, you know, these right. guys who some days you look at them like Jay Cutler and Sam Bradford and even, like, Eagles Michael Vick. We are like, hey, some days these guys look really good, and there are some days we're like, god damn, how are these guys starting quarterbacks? Yeah. And, like, we just don't have that anymore. It's just you're we're either god awful and I don't want to watch you. Or you're so good that I have to watch the, that little in between. What tier are we in right now? Is that like the Chad Pennington tier? Chad Pennington was a Kirk Cousins. 
No, I'd say so. No, and that's what I mean. But there's just so like we have like two or three of those Who's the guys Bills now. Quarterback? Uh, Who's that, the Bills quarterback? It was EJ. It was EJ Manuel. So we weren't having a lot of fun there. But no, no, no fun there. But Weird like the Carson that, I just Palmer? I don't know. Carson maybe Palmer I'm wrong. Was maybe, I'm just, maybe I'm just nostalgic. But like, I just feel like back then the bottom like they were don't get me wrong the bottom five were bad. But I feel like the bottom five has now expanded to like the bottom ten. Like well, I think. It, like Kenny Pickett, Jordan Love, and Mac Jones are probably like those those high twenties. They're all unwatchable. Well, I think I think nowadays the quarterbacks are so good, they're so good that um, where am I going with this? I I think I don't they're know so good because I think there's only like six or seven good quarterbacks, or maybe maybe no, ten I, if you stretch it. But. The problem is, I I think they're so good that we're kind of spoiled in that the good <clears> quarterbacks we see as trash. But look at look at this. So I pulled up a list here. This is a power ranking the quarterbacks in 2013. Philip Rivers was 20. Philip Rivers was the 20th quarterback that year. Mm. Carson Palmer, 21. Michael Vick, 22. Alex Smith, 23. Wait, 2013. 2013. What? Uh, Palmer wasn't a Raider. Where, where was he? No, I'm not. This isn't a Raider discussion. No, I, I just want to know. I'm just, I'm just trying to say, like those guys. Were I want to like, know. I don't, yeah, John. I don't know. Process, I'm really, I am really looking at this list right now from 2012, and like. You got like Tony Romo, Andy Dalton, and young Andy Dalton was good. Yeah, Andrew Luck, Cam Newton, young Cam Newton was good. Carson Palmer, Mike Vick, Jay Cutler, Matt Schaub, Joe Flacco. Yeah. Like Matt, you just have a bunch. Matt Schaub was Jameis before Jameis. <laughs> Matt Schaub was Jameis before Jameis. Like you get well, down to point, the bottom, like, and then and then and then look at my list, my my bottom twenty. Gardner right. Minshew, Will Levis, Kenny Pickett, Mac Jones, Jordan Love, Zach Wilson, Taylor Heineke, so Bryce is, Young, this is where we get. Connell, Tyson Badgett, Diamond DeVito. Hey, like, 20, like, no, 2012, Connell. Alex Smith was the 25th ranked quarterback, apparently. Yeah. If Alex Smith is your 25th ranked quarterback, that just means that there's good quarterback play. Is, is high. The highs are higher, but the lows right. are so much lower. And that middle ground, there is no middle ground. Like 15 right now. 15, 16 is like Derek Carr. I don't know. Like, what did I even have on my list as, as like the middle? I have, I have G, Geno Smith, it. Derek Carr, and, and, and Baker Mayfield are 14, 15, 16. Baker yeah, Mayfield is like, he's fine, but like, he's not a, a middle of the road quarterback. He's not that I mean, good. I, like, I put Jimmy G there. I put, sorry. Just, hold on, stop. I put, Kenny, P- I put Kenny Pickett there. I put, uh, I put Kenny John, Pickett you at thirty. Jimmy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I gotta stop myself because we we're already long. But you, you have if the Steelers so much, had Jimmy you, Garoppolo, they would be a fucking powerhouse. I don't care no, what I you agree, say, but Jared. like I don't understand. Like you have talked so much Garoppolo slander, but yet you're gonna put him at sixteen. You literally said yeah. like he sucks. You wanted O'Connell like in week two, and you're well, gonna put him at sixteen. Just because I don't want him playing for the Raiders. You're gonna put I mean, Kenny I think... Pickett at sixteen. He sucks. Okay, I I put him literally. Kenny Pickett would be thirty. We're too close. He can't grip a football. Kenny Pickett would be 32 <laughs> on that list of the from 2012. Okay. He'd be 32. All right, all right. I, I'd put him. He'd like probably the worst quarter. Fair. Maybe Jake Locker's got him beat. Maybe mm-hmm. think about Jameis. I just nostalgic. And I just, the worst I'm part about this Tassos is the fact that like two years ago people were calling it the golden era of quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. And now we're in the the garbage area of quarterbacks. Yeah. Well, a, a big yeah. part of it is like retirements, uh, injuries. Obviously, like you know, we're not putting Kirk Cousins. Like, there's a lot of injuries. Like. But also retirements, like that. Well, a lot of those guys have walked away now, and it's like I mean, we don't we don't know about the future either. Like like Burrow, Mahomes, Allen. I mean, but those are they the, might that's be... not who I'm worried. That's not who I'm worried about. Those are those are the gold guys. What I'm worried about is that I middle do, that middle class. I there do no think we're class. getting. I do think we're getting probably two really good quarterbacks, and I think we're getting three or four Kirk Cousins next year. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Yeah. Um. All right. I don't, I, we got way off track there, but I just had to talk about Jameis, and then it went down a little bit of a rabbit hole. Um, we had we'll um, we all had Vikings. Last... Yeah. Or did you guys anyone have Broncos? No, it's just <laughs> Eagles Chiefs now. No Vikings. Um, so yeah, Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl rematch, Monday Night Football, Ooh. really great game here. This is it's tough. Ah, a really interesting spot. Because I don't know, I the Eagles. We talked. We kind of referenced it earlier. Their defense is not really good. I don't know what's going on with them. And their offense at times stalls. And the Chiefs on the other side, their offense. I don't. I don't really know what to think of this game. It's going to be very interesting. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and take Chiefs. They're at home. I like Chiefs at home. Yeah. So I, I'm. I'm gonna say the Chiefs are gonna win this one. 
and the storyline is going to be all oh, they won the last two and everything, and then Super Bowl comes back around. I think I honestly do think we're going to Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl again. I really do. I think to me uh, personally, I thought it was going to be Niners Chiefs. Niners are my. If I had to put another NFC team, I'd put Niners. But I just think the Eagles are far no, and away the I best respect, team in the NFC. I respect that. It's a bit. <clears throat> no, because I wrote a note on here that I really. I like the under. Under's a good. No, under's a. I'm actually going to cash money bet the under here. I like I like under forty six and a half here. Prime I time like under. prime time. Prime time unders is one of my favorite thing to bet. Yep. Um. Because honestly, I fall asleep at halftime. <laughs> So, yeah, it is what it is. It's gonna be a good. And it should be a decent game, though. Like it should actually. It should be, be a decent, decent game. game. I just, I just think this Eagles Eagles offense is gonna see a really good Chiefs defense, and this Chiefs offense is gonna see the Eagles offense. That I mean, Eagles defense, and the Chiefs offense doesn't blow me away. And I just think, honestly, I just think there's not gonna be a lot of points scored here. I like that. How much Kelsey stuff are we gonna see here? Like between the Kelsey brothers oh, and Taylor oh, Swift. Oh, a ton. Taylor Swift will be there, I'm pretty sure. And oh 100%. my god, bro. It drives me fucking dumb! Can I be honest? And I'm not pandering to the Swifties. Kind of like the storyline. Like, if you okay. see the, the whole thing at the if concert we're gonna do that, when she, if we're gonna when do she, that, the when she stuck fun. his name into the song. Like, I'll be honest. I was like, oh, like, that's okay. cute. That, like, that's the fun. whole crowd that's goes fun. crazy and he starts going, you know, but cheesing. Like, and I, says, I would stick your name in a song. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm waiting for the day it happens. No, Selena I, Gomez. I'm I so get bailed. that. I I get that. I like it. Like between Kelsey and Swift, I like it a lot. But like the NFL needs to lay off, bro. They need to lay off. I think the NFL needs to lay off because they are clearly just like, hey, we're gonna make money off this. But I think the actual like, and I hate this shit. Like I don't like relationship. Like the I hate like reality TV and like public relationship stuff. But like, there's something about like, all right, football guy meets us like a you know. I just I don't know. I like it. I think it's cute. Like the whole those two. Like I, said, those I, I two? hated up to this point, but I saw that whole thing where she put him in the song and like he was yeah, go, he was cheesing like, and the whole crowd was going crazy and I'm like, oh, okay, this is kind of like those two wholesome, together. Wholesome I, I hate I hate the Chiefs. I can't stand the Chiefs. But like those two, I like it. I mean, their podcast together, is right? fantastic. I listen to it almost yeah. every week now. It, it, it's, it's it's really it's good. Fun. They're fun. They're fun together. I like it a lot. But like, I think Jason and it, Kelsey honestly is one of the, like the most real. He's just a guy, he is a regular guy who plays football. Like he yeah. is just and he's a normal like way, Travis Kelsey's a little over the top, but like Jason Kelsey yeah. is just your normal like football guy. The way the NFL abuses Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey is so gross, bro. I hate it. It's it's a money thing because they know that Taylor Swift. I get it. I don't, I got, no, I it, get she it. Has a, she has an army. She literally has an army at her side. Yeah. All right, guys. Week eleven. In the books, we will see you guys next week. We'll see. Am I still going to be in the leaderboard? I think I probably will be, but who knows? Maybe these guys will, will gain a little ground. I think we were actually on the same page for the majority of the picks, so gaining ground will be a little tricky. But, guys, until next time, hope you're all winners. <laughs> little, little noggin.